This about to be the best interview I've done in my life. <laughs> I love what you guys are doing here, man. Like, this kind of shit right here is very, very necessary. Man. Legacy Device is one of the best. Bro, imagine putting out a project, right, with no fucking visuals, and everyone in the city talks with you off of the project alone with no visuals. Off the strength of the music, man. Like every, bro, everywhere I go, niggas is telling, niggas is like relating life stories with me based off of the music alone. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like real shit. Like, bro, it's, it's very rare somebody puts out a project with no visuals and it connects like that in this day and age. Like, it's bro, it's 2019, 2020. If you put out music and um, and it's connecting, and it's, and it's connecting, you know what I mean? Like that means that, bro, like you're, you're saying some shit people want to connect. People want to like, uh, you're saying some shit people. Quit. And that's why it's taking me so long to, to like to put out Legacy Device 2, man. Because Legacy Device 1, I was telling my real life life story. Everything I was going through was everything I put in the music. So people always ask me, people always say, like, Wani, yo, like, why, bro? Why didn't you put out any, why didn't you drop Legacy Device 2? Bro, because I haven't, I haven't lived, I, I haven't experienced the life to, to give you Legacy Device 2. Like, I'm going through it right now as I speak. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm trying to put, I'm trying to, I'm trying to gather up my thoughts and put it in word. And Legacy Device is coming in 2020. But the greatest always do this, like Drake connects to a bass, Jay-Z connects to a bass, Nas connects to a bass, um, DRB connects to a bass, DRB likes Giddy, you know what I mean? So like, bro, it's always important to connect to your bass, like, and Lagos was, so, Lagos, bro, I grew up here, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I spent time overseas, of course, like, I spent times, like, in London and Chicago, like, in D.C., but like Lagos is what made me like my mentality. The majority of my mentality comes from Lagos. So it's always important. And this is just free game to all you artists out there, man. Connect to a base. Know who you want to see in your crowds when you're creating music. Know who you're doing this for. You know what I mean? So that's why I named it Lagos City Vice. Just to um just to connect to a fucking base because I feel like it's very, very, very important to have to have a, to have home turf. SoundCloud though, cause SoundCloud don't be giving no money, my nigga. So now we put this on Apple Music, we put this on Spotify, Audio Mac. Fuck SoundCloud, man. I'm not doing shit that don't involve no bag, my nigga. Bro, I love my streaming money, my nigga. <laughs> I love my streaming money. Nigerian artist, if you can find a way to keep your streaming money, I keep everything 100% to yourself. Please do. Bro, can I flex? <laughs> bro, I feel like I, bro, I've made like three million. I know it's not a big deal. But to me, putting out a project that I didn't even have any expectations for, three million naira is a big fucking deal, my nigga. Huh? What's the mic? For me, putting out a project that I had no expectations for, I didn't know if niggas would even f with it. Three million to close to four million right now is a big fucking deal. And every fucking day, every fucking month, I'm making salary. Do you know what I mean? Like, so all you niggas that work at Access Bank and GT Bank. <laughs> all you niggas that work at Access Bank and GT Bank and like likes to look down on niggas that do music. Like, man, first of all, you niggas. And second of all, like, I just want you to know, like, niggas is making your salary doing nothing besides being passionate. So um, it is independent. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to make. I'm not trying to, to to say like independence is the only lane to go. Like, I'm not even trying to make it seem like doing it independent is the way because I could have been way further if I backed if I if I lined up with somebody. But it's important to be independent to know yourself. Do never get involved with another person until you know the direction you're taking your into with this music. Because like, if you get involved with somebody when you don't know yourself. But you're going to be, you're going to ride around in circles for a few years, and you're going to crash. I'm not trying to crash, man. I'm trying to be the greatest that ever did this shit out of Lagos City. Like uh, this whole scene. Hotels, hotels. I'm, I, I know it sounds. I know. I know niggas don't like hearing niggas talk like this, but I, I'm, I want to be the. I want to be one of the greatest that ever did. This is my first on camera, like. Not my first on camera interview, but this is like one of my realest interviews ever, man. Like, bro, look. To people who support me, I'm telling you, bro. I'm, I, bro, this music is not a joke to me, man. You don't have no time, bro. You have no time. Like, <laughs> niggas pop up every day, and 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 still the wave every day. You know what I mean? Like, you have no time, bro. 
niggas is niggas niggas is young. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you have no time. If you don't capitalize off your moments, if you miss your moments, you have to go and queue again. And if you queue again, you're never getting on. So so never never <laughs> never queue again. Make sure <laughs> But you, you just know what I'm saying. Like you feel me. You know what, what you say. Talk, talk, bro. Talk. But not even live fast, like bro. Once you get, once you get in the lane, like take your chance, like bro. If you queue up, if you go and wait in the back of the line again, nigga, that's where you gonna be. You gonna be a back of the line ass nigga. And I ain't trying to be a back of the line ass nigga. I'm trying to make the most of what I have right now, my nigga. So I understand why they wouldn't understand how instrumental I am because I don't really. In Nigeria, that was that wasn't what I was focused on. In Chicago, that was my main focus. Like, but in such a short time, I've gone from a music lover to a songwriter to an engineer to now I'm being in front of the camera. You know what I mean? So, but that kind of thing, like it takes process. Like it takes a process. You can't just can, like do it one time and expect everything to be perfect. You know, that's what I've been doing, man. I've just been going through the motions and trying to be trying to be um, trying to perfect my brand because that's the main thing for me. Like music. Music, yeah, I'm talented in doing music, yeah, but I always try to think of the end goal, like, what is, what, what, what am I really doing this for? And the, the, my biggest passion is just trying to build a brand. I, f I look at myself as beyond as an artist. I'm a serial entrepreneur. Like, I want to build a brand. I want to, I want the Wani brand. I want the Wanda brand to go just beyond making music. Like, and it's coming in time, but like, um, I have to lay the foundation with the music. But um, it's been, it's been, it's been a process, man. But I'm enjoying the process. And I'm 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 working on it daily. The video was just something to make my fans have something to be more like emotionally connected to, like my face. I felt like because I was China Designer was the was the biggest song on the project. Like the project has over a million streams independent. You know what I mean? So like China Designer, I felt like Lego City Vice needed like a like a set of visuals to go along with it. So it wouldn't just be like a project that just came and went. It needed a set of visuals for my for the people who I, I wasn't even doing it for the world. I was doing it for the people who with the project. I felt like that I, I owed it to them. I owed it to them to get them a set of visuals that they connect to. And were, of course, I, like, I, it was my first set of visuals. Like, uh, there was, there's much more room for improvement, but, I, but I'm, I'm working on it daily. I said um, recording artist. I said in front of the camera, but I never said on stage. That's a whole different beast, bro. That's a whole different beast. Uh, but um, I'm with it, man. Like I, I'm not, I'm not a shy, I'm not a shy person. Like I, I know once I'm going there, and once I know people are expecting me to be there, I'm gonna deliver like a hundred percent. But like it's definitely been a learning curve too. But like um, I guess the, the more the more I grow and the more people f my music, the more confident I'll be in going on stage. Like but um, I'll be lying if I said it wasn't like a, it, it was it was definitely a mind. F like hearing people sing my, f I recorded in my bedroom like two years ago, a year ago. People singing it passionately. You know what I mean? It's definitely a trip, but like, um, but like, um, I, I appreciate it, man. Like, bro, this music is my life. Bro. This is what I've been doing like for so long in so many different aspects. Like, I've bro, I've grown so much in this music. Like, I've been transitioning ever since, and it's not gonna just stop now. Like, it's not gonna stop with Legacy Device. It's not gonna stop with this stage I'm at right now. Like, bro, in in, in ten years from now, I can see myself doing different with the music, like building my brand, like helping young niggas come up, building media companies like you guys here are doing on Alter Day. Like, bro, 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 we're all grinding right now. Like, this is the start of something great in Nigeria. I feel like this moment especially, like niggas are locked in on us. You know what I mean? Niggas are locked in on us and they want to see what we're doing, man. We're going to deliver, man. Shout out to that nigga. That nigga is a real ass nigga. If you're dissing or doosy, f*** you. That nigga is a real ass nigga. I I with Dunce, I fuck with Dio, I fuck with, um, I fuck with DRB, I fuck with Fresh, I fuck with SDC. If you fuck with me, I fuck with you. If you don't like me, nigga, like whenever I, like, I get in the booth, if it's not something I'm living, if it's, if it's a lie, I can never be happy with the track going out, man. So anything I release, man, I want it to, I, want, I just want my fans to know that, like, I'm sorry, fans, I hate that word. I want people who support me and ride with me to know that everything I'm doing is from the bottom of my heart. Like I'm very sincere about this music. I love Twitter. I love Twitter because Twitter. Because Twitter is how I talk in real life. Only when I'm lit. Like so, this interview is my Twitter. Is my Twitter persona right now. Man. Like <laughs> you guys better ask me a good question, huh? Definitely, Wani definitely allows me to express myself more. Um, Ayo is definitely an introvert. 
Wani is definitely like the extroverted person. Like, if you meet Wani, you're lucky. If you meet Ayo, you probably wouldn't like that nigga, man, because that nigga, he gonna tell you like it is. It was a two face, um, it was two face, um, old, old, what do you call it? What, what do they say that? Shit? It's two face reading, but what, what? No, no, what do you call when you're giving respect to somebody? Oh, homage. Homage, homage. Homage, homage. Now go school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they speak English. <laughs> Bro, I grew up on this shit. Bro, I'm a music lover. I'm no fake in this shit. Like, I, I, I'm a Nigerian music lover, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. from every, every... I see remedies on your wall. Come on. I see. You, you understand where I'm coming from, bro? Like, niggas don't know about the... Okay, they, these are like the American... Why do you have all these American-ass niggas behind me, bro? Okay, right there. Right there. Bro, bring the camera. Bring the camera. You see the right here? But that's what the... I grew up on. That's what the fuck I grew up on. So when you, when you hear Two Face Rhythm, bro, that's just, that's me giving respect to the to the to the biggest legend in this Nigerian music. Two Face. I don't care about anybody else. Two Face is the biggest Nigerian music legend to me. Like so, Two Face Rhythm. I had to do it, bro. I had to do it to show love to um, Two Baba because he's a realist and um, and um, somebody who influenced me. That's what makes my sound unique. The fact that I, I, I spent some time in my formative years of growing up was spent in the UK, was spent in Nigeria, and was spent in America. Just like most people, like, I'm not trying to make myself seem like I'm an alien, just like most people I like, grew up with. But like most people can't translate it into the music. Like, it doesn't cut across. Because most people like most people I like, grew up with are like bankers, like you work at Access Bank, GT Bank. <laughs> they make like they make like like fifty K a week. <laughs> I draw influences from everywhere, like from um, from Craig David to Kanye to Two Face. Like, bro, it's just a wide, like, it's a wide, it's a wide pool of influences, and that's how I feel like I'm unique in this music. Shit. I feel like, yeah, people are people are dope, but like, when you dig into it, like, are you really a music lover? Are you really a music fan? Like, do you listen to all these classic? Albums? Do you really study the game? I feel like that's what makes me different. The chapter of my life is hunger, man, because nigga, bro, I'm trying to fucking I, f I feel like um I feel like I, I feel like I've done a lot. I feel like I've proved myself. But I feel like I got too complacent, man. I feel like I, I, I got too I got too much satisfaction off the love niggas were showing me off. Um Lego City Vice. I got too I got too satisfied with niggas knowing me around the city. Like when I go out, niggas know my name. I got too satisfi I got too satisfied with all that shit, man. So um I have to regain my hunger. I have to regain my hunger. So this chapter of my life, I'll call it like hunger, man. Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to level up again. The Alternative Network.